welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle with Dan Fancy Creations. And before we get started on our tutorial today, I wanted to welcome all of my new subscribers. My channel has been growing so much these past couple of months. So I just wanted to say welcome new subscribers and thank you for tuning in each week just to kind of see what I'm going to create. If you do not know, I have two other groups that you may want to check out. I have a tutorial group on Facebook that is full of tons of helpful women and men that are always willing to help with questions that you may have. I also have a patron group that is more personal and I can give you guys more of my attention, more of a one-on-one -on -one type of feel. So if you want to check those groups out, they will be linked in the description. So for today's tutorial, I love, love how this turned out. I am trying to do some more patriotic themes for the 4th of July and things like that. And this one just kind of came to me. I wanted it to be simple, but also still really, really pretty. So for this tumbler, we are going to start with a silver glitter base, and then we are going to go tape off and apply vinyl and apply our next glitter. So the stripes and the stars are actually going to be peekaboo. That is how I did that effect. And I love how it turned out. I hope you guys do too. I think it's perfect for the 4th of July. I may make myself one for when we go out on the boat, but I haven't decided yet because I already have too many cups. So if you guys are ready to see how I create this fun, patriotic themed tumbler, let's get started. <laughs> So the very first thing we're going to do is prep our tumbler by sanding it and spray painting it with a flat white spray paint. I am applying a decent coat of epoxy. The glitter that I am going to be using is a chunky silver. Typically if I use chunky glitter, I do like to apply a thicker than normal um, coat of epoxy to apply it with just because it helps soak up that glitter and helps the chunky pieces of the glitter lay flat. This is still not quite as heavy as if I were covering glitter, but it is definitely more than the typical five to 10 milliliters. So we are going to pop all of our bubbles. I do have the large torch from CC DIY. I love it. It really helps get all of those micro bubbles out of there. And now we are going to sprinkle on our glitter. I am going to be using White Lady from the Drunk Flamingo. It is one of my favorite chunky silver mixes. And I am just going to pour a little bit into a small plastic cup. It just helps me control where the glitter is going to go versus just pouring it out of the bag. And if you guys were wondering, the glitter next to this cup is Coconut Snowball Martini, also from the Drunk Flamingo. And I am just going to sprinkle this glitter on. I like to sprinkle it so it kind of waterfalls down the cup. That way I don't get as many pieces that are sticking up. So as the glitter kind of falls down the side of the cup, it catches on the epoxy and it kind of pulls it to the cup. And you guys can see I am just sprinkling a very thin layer. If you try to just dump it all on the cup, then you are going to get chunky pieces that are kind of sticking up all over. Obviously with chunky glitter, you know, there are going to be some pieces that are sticking up, but if you sprinkle a light coat, you won't have quite as many. And then I am just going to pour some over the edge, or sorry, 
over the bottom of the cup as well. Just make sure that is covered. And I will just tap down the little chunky pieces with my finger. I know some people like to use wax paper, parchment paper, things like that. Um, but I really don't ever have a problem with kind of getting the little pieces down. And this cup didn't have a whole lot. There are just a few little chunky pieces of glitter that were sticking up that I could easily just tap down with my finger. And we will let this sit for a little while and let this epoxy cure. And then we will apply our next layer of epoxy. So now that this layer of epoxy is cured, I am going to apply my next layer. And I will go ahead and say that with some chunky glitter, it does resist epoxy. I do not have this problem with this particular glitter, but if you are worried about that, you can definitely take the cup off of the turner and seal it with a clear spray paint, or you can also leave it on the turner and apply um, a liquid sealer such as Quick Coat from CCDIY. When you are doing the bottom of your tumbler, you do want to be sparing with your epoxy. You don't want huge globs of epoxy on the bottom that could potentially make your tumbler uneven. I do also wipe from bottom to top just to get any of that excess epoxy off. And once we have this layer of epoxy on there, I will take my torch again and pop all of those bubbles. I did not film that part, but once this layer is cured, we are ready for our next step. So now that our silver base is cured, we are ready to apply our colors. I am using Sookie and Dress Blues from Peachy Olive Glitter. And I am using the Blue Devil Cocktail and Pomegranate Martini from the Drunk Flamingo. I am also going to be using clear spray paint to apply this glitter. I did film me actually taping off my cup, but I think that the video did not take. So I am just going to pause this video and explain what I did for you guys really quickly. All right, so for the stripes, I did it just like any other of my striped tumblers. I basically put a piece of tape along the top edge put a piece of tape directly below it to use as a spacer, and then applied the third piece of tape. I continued this pattern down the cup, always using the middle piece as the spacer. I do have several videos on my channel showing how I do this. And then I went and just added vinyl stars to the other side of the tumbler. I think my largest star was about two and a half, maybe three inches, and my smallest one was about one inch. So what I'm doing right now that you cannot see on film is I am spraying one side of my tumbler with the clear spray paint. And now I am going to sprinkle the fine glitter on the stripes that I just sprayed with the clear spray paint. I am going in with the fine glitter first because it will basically give good coverage for those stripes. Then I'm going to go in with the chunky glitter later just for a few accent pieces. So I'm going to bang this tumbler off really good, get all of that excess glitter off of there.
and then we are going to go in and I'm going to basically create the gradient now. If you watch my videos, you know I use this tea strainer for everything, especially if I am doing ombres or gradients. So it just really helps, um, you know, blend the glitters together. So I am just tapping a little bit of this red where this red meets the silver. And when I do my blue, I will also do this same thing just to help these colors blend really well together. Again, we are going to bang this off really good. And this is my chunky glitter that I'm using. And again, I am spraying the entire side with the clear spray paint. And I am just going to take some of this chunky glitter with my fingers and just kind of sprinkle it all over this side of the tumbler. And then I will also pat down any of the larger pieces that may be sticking up. And now we will go back and do the blue side. And again, we are basically going to do the exact same thing. I am going to spray the stars side with my clear spray paint. And now I am going to sprinkle the fine blue glitter all on this side. I do try to avoid getting it on the stars or at least have a little bit of the blank star kind of showing through. That way you know where your stars are when you go to remove them. I know some people like to put a small dot of hot glue on the vinyl so they know where it is, um, but these were pretty large pieces. I didn't really have a problem finding where my stars were. But there are little tips like that if you need a little bit extra help. And you guys can see when I do this, I am just kind of letting the blue glitter kind of waterfall onto the red just to go ahead and start that gradient. And now I am going to spray the tumbler again to add our next glitter. So here I am just waterfalling that blue onto the red. And covering any bare spots that I may see.
and then bang off all of that glitter. And I was pretty happy with how that gradient looked, so I did not feel like I needed to go back in with my tea strainer. So now I am ready to apply the blue chunky. So again, we are just going to spray that entire side with the clear spray paint again. And then sprinkle with my fingers the chunky blue glitter. I just kind of sprinkled it all over the tumbler, or all over the blue half of the tumbler, I should say. <laughs> and I will say that I did not film one part of <laughs> this tumbler. Sometimes I forget little things that I should film, but I did go back and sprinkle blue and red glitter on the very bottom of the tumbler as well. I just, it was something that I forgot to do until it was too late to film it. Um, but that way your bottom of the tumbler is also glittered with the red and blue glitter as well. And once this is everything is patted down and this layer of spray paint dries. I will spray paint everything again with a clear spray just to seal everything in really, really good. And then it will be time to remove the tape and the vinyl. So I was very careful when I was removing this tape and the vinyl. I didn't want to rip too quickly and then pull off chunks of glitter with the tape or with the vinyl. And some of my stars were overlapping my tape, so I had to be really careful um, on how I pulled up everything. So I started out just using my fingers to pull everything off with. Um, I didn't know where my little sharp tools were at the moment. I did eventually go grab my blade to help kind of lift the vinyl pieces and the tape. But this is why you want to make sure everything is good and dry, just so everything is adhered really well to the tumbler and is not going to start flaking or peeling off with the tape or vinyl. And I will clear spray everything one more really good time just to make sure that I'm not going to get a lot of glitter shifting when I add epoxy. But this is pretty much it for this tumbler tutorial. Once you seal everything in and it's good and dry, you can add this to your turner for the final couple layers of epoxy and then you are good to go. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I know several of you have been wanting it up for quite a while. I've just had so much personal things going on that I'm just now getting around to it. But I really like how this turned out. Um, I hope you guys do as well. And thank you guys so much for watching. And if you make one like this or a Tumblr similar to this type of peekaboo style, please post it in the group because I would love to see. And here are some finished pictures of it all shiny and pretty. I love how it turned out. If y'all enjoyed this tutorial or learned something new, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Also, if you're looking for more tips, tricks, or tutorials, please be sure to check out my tutorial group on Facebook or my new Patreon group. Both are linked in the description. Thanks so much for watching.